Ernest's trip down Splash Mountain will be a demonstration of the limits of human endurance. It will also demonstrate the limits of human ingenuity. Like all Disney attractions, Splash Mountain has a story that goes along with that ingenuity. Correspondent Marjorie Hastings Hardwick is standing by to bring us that story. Have you ever wondered where the ideas for the super attractions found at Disneyland and Walt Disney World come from? In the case of Splash Mountain, the source of inspiration was the 1946 Walt Disney film, Song of the South. It was in the animated sequence of this classic film that the antics of Br'er Fox, Br'er Br'er, and Br'er Rabbit came to life for the first time. Over 40 years later, these three lovable characters are the stars of Splash Mountain. The designers of Splash Mountain created the perfect setting to once again tell the tale of Br'er Rabbit's capture and his ultimate escape from the clutches of Br'er Fox and Br'er Bear complete with the breathtaking five-story plunge into the briar patch. Combining its popular and fanciful story with the thrill of careening down the world's longest plume drop should rank the 87-foot Splash Mountain among the best of Disneyland's mountain range, making it a top challenge for its guests. 34. <coughs> 35. Oh, hi, Vern. Just getting in shape. Because, Vern, I'm about to become the first. Full grown, sleep away from home without a note, <coughs> grown up to ride Disney Splash Mountain. <laughs> yeah, Vern, <coughs> it's a matter of family pride because I come from a long line of justifying roller coaster riding flume zoomers. Know what I mean? <coughs> and Vern, Disneyland Splash Mountain is the longest, steepest <coughs> flume zoom ever made by mortal man. And I'm getting in such good shape that I can do. <coughs> Just about anything. Watch this. A one, <laughs> two, go. As you can see, the seconds are racing by now in our countdown to Daredevil Ernest P. Worrell's historic ride down Splash Mountain. You know, this mountain is an intricate combination of creativity and technology. Feature editor Skip Binkman has spent the last few days crawling around every nook and cranny of this innovative marvel. So let's see what he's found. <laughs> this is some of the half million gallons of water which cycles continuously here in order to keep the splash in Splash Mountain. Now, this water is treated and then it's on its way down to the basement of this building where it'll be pumped back up to the top. Uh, back, back to you, Ralph. Uh, oh. Uh, well, it uh, can never be said that Skip Binkman's reports are dull. He always manages to keep us informed and entertained with his unique style of reporting. Oh, I'm told that he'll be back with another interesting feature a little later. Um, also, coming up, we'll talk to a Disney Imagineer who happens to be the show producer of Splash Mountain. All of this when our countdown to Ernest's attempt to conquer Splash Mountain continues in just a moment. Okay, Barn. Now, as we both know, water runs down your hill and not up. Therefore, we can safely assume that I will land on my feet when I reach the bottom of Splash Mountain. Now, right here, Splash Mountain drops off at a 47 degree angle. Vern, have you got any more chalk? Never mind. I'll just use this pen. That was awful, wasn't it, Vern? Kind of reminds you of this, don't it? The tension is really beginning to mount now as we continue our countdown of Ernest P. Worrell's daredevil trip down Splash Mountain. Now, we'll be cutting back to Splash Mountain just as soon as we receive word that Ernest has arrived there. Just to repeat the facts as we know them at this time, the mountain is ready. Ernest P. Worrell is getting ready 
at his friend Vern's Daredevil facility, where, some reliable sources have disclosed, under a great umbrella of secrecy, they are running some last-minute experiments to test the intellectual and physical metal of this extraordinary man. Okay, Shorty, take out the slack. Oh, hey, Vern. Just brushing up on my advanced water sports. Yeah, Vern, I've got to be ready to ride the waves. So stand back and allow my flume to zoom. You see, Vern, I've got this team of neighborhood dogs that will equal the speed and torque of the awesome Splash Mountain. My highly trained and disciplined lead dog, Shorty, will listen to my even slightest look. Oh! Whoa, 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 burn the crowds are beginning to gather now outside Splash Mountain, and the excitement is building. Let's go to Marjorie Hastings Hardwick, who is standing by with Disney Imagineer and the producer of that spectacular ride, Bruce Gordon. Thank you, Ralph. Well, Bruce, we're nearing the big moment, and you must be nervous, because as the show producer, you are responsible for everything a guest sees, feels, smells, and experiences when they go into an attraction. Isn't that right? That's right. There's a tremendous amount of... We're going to be showing the folks at home some of those lavish scenes and settings inside Splash Mountain, so perhaps you could tell us about it, starting with that cast of characters. That's right. There's some of the... It's the largest group of animated characters ever assembled in an attraction. Isn't that right? 105, to be exact, and they're all led by those principal and adorable adorable characters from the movie Song of the South, Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear. Isn't that right, Br'er Bruce? They're some of the favorites. And you here. guys not only did a fantastic job of recreating the characters from the movie, but you also captured those fantasy settings so rich with color and lavish detail. We're very proud of you. And it. don't forget to tell them about the rich sprinkling of the film's Academy Award-winning music that they'll hear. Zippity-doo-dah. Zippity-doo-dah is the song for the big finale, which has the largest animated prop ever. What a scene with 21 characters singing and the ship rocking. It's just marvelous. All of this combined with the world's longest and steepest flume drop, which allow the logs to achieve a top speed of 40 miles per hour, which I believe makes it the fastest ride ever built at Disneyland. Isn't that right, Bruce? That's right. It's Thanks so much for that great information. And I'm probably also right in saying that you are more than a little nervous as we near the moment when Ernest will make history as the first person to actually try out the ride. Uh-huh. There you have it. The man with all the answers, Splash Mountain producer Bruce Gordon. And now, let's go once again to Skip Finkman. Testing. One, two, three. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the new houses that have been constructed along here, along the screen that runs through Critter Country. Uh, Critter Country is the new name that's been given to the area that, at the foot of Splash Mountain. It used to be called Bear Country, and you'll still see bears running around through here, but you'll also see a lot of uh, furried and uh, feathered friends which have moved into Critter Country ever since Splash Mountain moved in. Back to you, Ralph. Um... With our countdown clock ticking away, I'm sure that Ernest is on his way to Disneyland by now. We'll find out when our coverage continues. Hey, Burn. The car's all gassed up, so let's load up the shuttle and head for the puddle. The Splash Mountain liftoff is A-OK, -okay, all systems go, and T-minus. And Burn, since I'm a highly trained top gun splash to not, I'll do the driving. So why don't you run in the house and get on some of them long pants and some of that musk oil, and you and I will go to Disneyland and find us some action. 